One of the most important things that a mixing board does is combine or add streams of audio to send to a single location. And anytime you're trying to add together multiple audio tracks, you will need a bus. In fact, the larger name for a bus is a summing bus. It's a place to add together things. Anytime that you have a many to one signal flow, if I'm trying to send all my drum tracks to a single track so I can process it individually, um, it would require a bus of some sort. On some DAWs, you create and manage and name buses yourself. In other DAWs, the buses are kind of happening automatically in the background for you, and you just route tracks directly to each other. Either way is fine, but you do need to know how to make those complex types of signal flow. And we'll look at a couple of those types of signal flow in this lesson. The one I just described, having many drum tracks go to a single location, we call that a submix. It's kind of a mix within a mix. We have another kind of signal flow that uses buses in which we kind of siphon off a bit of sound from each one of the tracks and send it to another effect unit or to a monitor mix. And that's a kind of send and return type of signal flow. Both those signal flows are really just an important part of mixing and require that we understand this bus concept. Some of the hardest problems to troubleshoot are the ones in which the buses get used incorrectly. Say I have a bus configured for my reverb. If I also use that same bus for a submix or my final mix, you're having audio signal go to numerous places, possibly causing feedback within your DAW, and it's often very hard to troubleshoot to figure out what went wrong. So, if you do have to manage your buses manually, you're going to need to know how to create and name buses and possibly how to create and name and reassign inputs and outputs. In the DAW, you're going to look for the window to allow you to do this. It'll be an audio assignments window or a bus window or a bundles window of some sort. Once there, you can create new buses, give them a name, and associate them with one of the DAW's built-in numbered buses. Now, when in this window, you'll also find that you can rename inputs and outputs, which can be very useful. And you'll also have to do that when moving the same project to another computer, because very often those input and output assignments will be messed up when moving to a different audio system or a different computer.